Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video just to update you about what's been going on with my bullet journal. In this video I'm basically just going to be talking about August and how that went and what I'm doing differently in September. So this was August and it was a crazy month. I've sort of been thinking about the last few months and doing the bullet journal has helped me realise some things. I think that like the main focus of July was work and friends and August seems to be about family and holidays. September has already started to take a theme of its own. I will talk about that in the September bullet journal <laughs> video. What I did in August was mainly just spending time with my family. I went away with my dad to Vienna at the end of July, beginning of August and I did see my friends but not as much as I had in July and I was doing training at the end of August for my work so I feel like the end of August was the focus was on work and the new school year but the beginning of August was definitely family based. I think August has been the best month this year. I just felt so happy in August and just felt so calm and like everything was good again. It's been a weird up and down year but I think it's getting okay again. <laughs> so the first thing that I did was I had my gratitude log so that went over on these three pages. Then I had my August memories. Yay! Okay I'm very bad at drawing so I apologise. <laughs> I will put a picture in so you can judge me even more. <laughs> but I will just talk you through what I did. It was actually my dad's birthday on the 1st of August. Happy birthday. <laughs> so I bought my dad a beer. <laughs> he was very happy about that. <laughs> so in the beginning of August, I was still in Vienna with my dad, my stepmom and my sister. And we actually went for a day trip to Slovakia. We went to Bratislava. It was only like an hour and a bit on the boat. And that was really, really cool. And that has kind of inspired me that in the future I would like to do travelling like that. Like spend a few days in one city and then a few days in another and travel like that. Another memory that we had in Slovakia was they had amazing ice cream. Like amazing, I can't even explain it. They had like, as soon as you got off the boat, they had like a vegan ice cream place. And we were kind of thinking it's going to be so hard to find vegan food. My sister, if you don't know, is vegan and she has been for the majority of this year. So we were kind of worrying about this holiday, thinking, ah, where's the vegan food? Turns out she ate the best out of everybody. <laughs> so that was really cool. We found vegan ice cream. I then attempted to do some twin videos, but they kind of failed. I don't really understand why I'm working on it. I probably won't do more for a long time, but it was nice to get back into it. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you would know that a couple of years ago I attempted to do twin videos and I was inspired by Beckio who did a lot of twin videos, but I couldn't figure out how to do it so I kind of gave up. The next thing I have down on my August memories is strawberry and banana smoothie. I have fallen in love with having smoothies. I have it in the morning and it just, I don't know, it fills me up and it makes me feel good and healthy and before I never used to like smoothies so this is progress in the food area <laughs> and it's so easy to make. I actually did a video about it if you haven't already seen I'll link it in the description box. I saw Jason Bourne in the cinema with my dad and my stepmom and oh my god I cannot explain how much I love the Bourne films they're just ah oh, amazing. It's Matt Damon come on. I got a buddy box for the first time. I haven't made a video about it, um, but I want to. So my buddy box for September should be coming any day now. So as soon as I get it, I will be doing a video about it, I promise. In my buddy box that I got for August was a felt ball bunting kit. And it's actually above my bed, cue picture. <laughs> but yeah, so I it was so fun making it. It was so easy as well, but like, it's simple and fun. I had pizza with my sister. Uh, the university is very close to my house and they have a student union and they have so many different places to go for food. They have a salad bar on the back of a truck. I don't even know how they got the truck in there. It's amazing. 
they have Starbucks, they have uh, Stone Bay Pizza, which is where we went. They even have a vending machine for ice cream. I'm very impressed. And sometimes they even have like merch masala, bubble tea, Mexican food. There's so much, I love that place. I, I basically lived there for the majority of June. Oh. So I went there with my sister and we had pizza. Although I was slightly disappointed with them because they didn't have any vegan food. So my sister couldn't even have cheese on her pizza. Fix that, come on. I had afternoon tea at my friend Mimi's house. Hello Mimi. Because it was her 21st birthday. Yes, I'm sharing that with the world. <laughs> but that was really, really nice. And I got to meet her cats. Pretty cool. You know you're close to a friend when you get to meet their cats. <laughs> Another part of the buddy box that I got was a mug. And it was quite a plain mug. And I was thinking I was either going to do a design on it and paint it or I was going to turn it into a little flower pot and I chose the latter. So here are some pictures of the flower pot and it looks really cute and it's still on my windowsill now and I'm very happy with it. One very big thing that I started in August was my new channel, um, SEN and me and I am so happy with it. It's just something that I'm so passionate about and it's just been so fun to film everything and try out different things and I'm learning myself. I don't know much about sensory processing, so it's been interesting reading up about that and I've been filming a hell of a lot this weekend just for that channel. So please check it out. The link will be in the description box. Please subscribe and also follow my Twitter where I will be updating you on what products I'm going to be reviewing and what topics I'm going to talk about. So I will link them in the description box. Me and my mum attempted to make bread in August. Kind of failed completely, but it was still funny. <laughs> like the actual, I'm not gonna go into what happened, but we had some injuries and some accidents. It wasn't funny in the moment and it was quite scary, but now thinking back, it was quite funny. And we were like, the world is telling us not to bake bread. <laughs> One massive, massive thing which I'm so happy about and I can't even explain it, I got a double distinction star in my health and social care course at college. <laughs> Basically, I have been studying health and social care for the last two years at my college and in my first year I got a distinction star. And basically in my second year a lot of stuff went on and I wasn't sure if I was going to continue with the course or if I was going to get the grade I wanted. A lot went on with my mental health and I had a lot of eating troubles and friendship troubles and there were some family stuff that went on including my granddad passing away unexpectedly. So a lot went on in my second year. And I was kind of worried that I wouldn't get the grade I wanted. And when I opened the envelope and found out that I got a double distinction star, I was ecstatic. I, I can't explain it. After going through the two terrible years at college that I did and come out with that grade is just amazing. So, yay. <laughs> I did some training for part of my work. Uh, that was basically three very intense days of getting through a lot of training. So. I've done some training with asthma, epilepsy, anaphylaxis, I've done team teach training. I'm not going to go into that now What about what it is. I've also done training for tube feeding because we have a student that needs to be fed through a tube. Um, we've had some people come in and talk about pensions. I'm 18 and I'm already sorting out my pension. Yeah. It was crazy, but I've now got all of my training out of the way and I can now focus on my job and I'm actually starting a level 2 teaching assistant course which will then go on to a level 3 teaching assistant course so I was like excited to get away from studying and nope, somehow I always get myself into more courses and doing lots of things so I'm not finished. <laughs> Soon, soon I will be. We celebrated my sister's 16th birthday. That was weird. I don't know, it's just like, 
It's so weird when you have a younger sister and you watch them grow up and even if they're only two years younger than you, it's so weird when they start hitting like the big numbers. Like when my sister turns 18, I'm just going to be really freaked out because I remember her being like this little tiny blonde girl and now she's like 16 and has bright red hair and is going to college. It, it, it's weird. So that was a very big birthday, not just for her, but for me as well. I surprised my grandma by visiting last minute. She was so happy to see me and it was lovely to see her because I hadn't actually seen her since January when I went to my granddad's funeral and obviously that was under terrible circumstances so I really wanted to see her again and see how she was doing. I had spoken to her on the phone but I hadn't really had the chance to see her so it was wonderful to see her before school started. We started back at work and if you don't know I am a teaching assistant at a special needs school. The first two weeks have been pretty intense but it's been wonderful to see the kids again and I can't tell you how much I love working there. It's just amazing. See there is me thinking that I finished the video. Nope, not even close. And then did my six word stories and I didn't do as many as I thought I would and I had a spare page so I just wrote a story. So if you want me to share that with you then let me know. <laughs> I then did my medication. As you know I take sertraline for my anxiety, I take vitamin D because I have a deficiency, I take B12 and multivitamins. Then my sleeping log. And then I've done my word of the day and song of the day. And I added to August, which I mentioned in my last video, I added films because I am a film fanatic. I've got so many DVDs. I'm always watching films. I will link more information about everything that I've discussed in the description box. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.